That's the place to be. That's the place for Ismail to be. Just where she wants to start. And she begins with a wicket first ball. And tough for Hassini Pereira. Little edge through to the keeper. This is a tough start for Sri Lanka. South Africa will be very happy by the start. They've picked up two. Power. This is what Atapatu can do. Over pitch, and she will punish you. Yeah, probably just trying to do too much, Shabnam Ismail. That's what she's looking for. Where did it pitch? Jacqueline Williams will have to just go through those questions in her mind. Where did it pitch? It's certainly straightened enough. It looks like they, they may want to have a look at this. Third umpire to director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've checked the front foot and it is a fair delivery. Can we move to front on, please? Okay, the bat and ball are close together. Can we move to ultra edge, please? Okay, can we take that back, please? Okay, roll through. Okay, I'm looking to see whether the first impact is with the bat or the pad. You can also see that the bat is close to the pad at the bottom of the bat. Can we take that back, please? Okay, roll forward. Okay, thank you. It is inconclusive as to whether it was bat or pad first. So we'll stick with the on-field decision of not out. We'll go back to Jackie on field. Let you know when you're on screen. Stick with your not out decision. Okay, and make your, make your signal now. So because the on-field decision was not out and they don't have technology that is going to say, all right, this conclusively has hit the pad first, they'll stay with the on-field decision of not out. Starts with a wicket and a fabulous catch. Mignon Dupria with a diving effort in the covers gives Nadine de Klerk something to smile about. It gives her skipper something to smile about because after that bowling effort in the previous game that you mentioned, first ball, pitch it in a good area. And followed by a magnificent diving effort from Minion Dupreeze. That'll boost her confidence as well. Straight back to Nadine de Klerk. And she has a double wicket maiden. The complete contrast to the other day against England. It couldn't be more different. How easy was that? For Nadine de Klerk, unlike the silver, what we've seen from her, she goes without scoring. Sri Lanka 12 for 4. Sweet. Very, very sweet. What a way to get off the mark. 17 for 4. In 2020. Wonderful bowling. Nadine de Klerk has found the sweet spot yet again. That ball just seemed to have shaped back in. She's been moving the ball away from the right-handers previously. Atapatu getting a chance finally to put some runs on the board. 
It's been a clear tactic to bowl straight at her. Gone! Atapatu trying to find the middle of the bat. And an almighty swing brings no timing at all and a lovely catch from Klaas. She's been struggling, Jamari Atapatu. She's struggled throughout this tournament. Tried to pull this delivery, but came off from very high on her bat. A good awareness from Matabata class. Score in T20 internationals. Change of ends for Nadine de Klerk. And through the gap. Now, she didn't pull it back. Tasman Brits with Laura Wolfart in pursuit. A rare boundary. For a direct hit here. She put in a good dive. Jackie Williams is going to check upstairs. Laura Wolfart. Two director. We have an umpire a good throw. Can I get your best side on angle, please? Oh, this could be trouble for Sri Lanka. Further trouble. taken cleanly by the keeper and just freezes the bales a lid up please let's take that back okay thank you we can see the batter is short of her ground i'm ready to make my decision for the screen well for shrine it gets worse and worse and the cantina has gone good underarm throw from laura volfart not overdoing it from short range Amma gone for four, Sri Lanka 34 for seven. That's got through. Even a dive at backward point. Maybe again we'll see the lower order add a few bright runs. One thing about Shabnam Ismail, as a crowd are getting involved and they're happy to wave their little signs, is that sometimes she does offer width. And when she's bowling with pace, that's something that all batters from all parts of the globe really certainly enjoy. All she needed to do was come down and meet it. And she was able to find... Ariel, that's another good catch taken. It's Laura Wolfart. And a wicket from Lubber. Sri Lanka is still some way off. Their lowest ever T20 score of 57. That's got to be a target for them. South Africa just keep chipping away. Yeah, the fielding has been excellent. The half chances have been taken. Wolvart, the flying Wolvart, she actually just gets up a little gingerly as well with her lower back. Let's hope she hasn't done too much damage, but excellent catching. First by Mignon Di Priya and now Laura Wolvart. Shahani, she departs for nine. And Sri Lanka now 41 for eight. Spooned up. And this will be Chloe Tryon's first wicket of these Commonwealth Games. And Sri Lanka are potentially heading towards their lowest total in international T20s. Nine down. Yeah, Sugandika was almost trying to go with the spin, but it actually held its line. Got a leading edge, popped up nicely for Chloe Tryon. Simple warm-up catch for her. She takes her first wicket. Now, this could be the end of the innings. Simple run-out chance. And it's Sri Lanka's lowest ever total in international T20s. And it's come on the stage of the Commonwealth Games and South Africa. Searching for their first win of the tournament. They have done the job they wanted to with the ball. Sri Lanka all out for 46. Yeah, indecision. Hesitation, miscommunication. 
has caused Sri Lanka dearly. But we have to congratulate South Africa. They would have been bitterly disappointed with how the Commonwealth Games has gone and also their series against England. A lot of players missing. A huge and shocking retirement as well with Lizelle Lee. But they've been able to, to do well today with the ball in hand. Now they've got to go around and chase these runs. So credit to South Africa and disappointment for Sri Lanka. Well, it's just been a punishing hour and a quarter for Sri Lanka. Not able to pin anything together. Shabri Nishmel is fabulous at the top of the order and opening the bowling. Sri Lanka had no answers. Hassani Pereira was first to go first ball of the match. Nadine de Klerk bouncing back from the England game to pick up career best figures. And Sri Lanka are way off the pace where they want to be at this level. And they've set themselves a new low of 46 all out. That's a poor start. If anything, Sri Lanka, when you're defending just at 46, don't give away any extras. That just, yeah, that's what the captain thinks about it. Brings a cover fielder into play straight away. He's done well. We saw the South African team has got quite a bit of movement. They also, though, found a lot of discipline early on. They found a good line and length very, very early. A little bit uppish, but poor, a poor misfield. It should never be a boundary. That's more frustration for Chamriata Patu, more frustration for the bowler. Shadi Ranasinga. She won't want to watch this again. Now, as much as Tasman Britt's timed it quite nicely, she's just overrun it, really. She's gone too far across. Didn't get her body behind the ball. I should be four. There'll be no cutting that off. Very, very fine. Nobody on that particular boundary. In any situation, this should be put away. It's a ball that's down leg again. We've seen quite a bit of that from Sri Lanka today. It just sits up nicely and should be put away. It's one of the strong scoring areas for Tasman Brits. A full toss should be four. And South Africa eating up this run chase. Just nine more needed. 38 for none. Well, women's cricket needs investment structure. And that takes them to within four of victory. Bosch is very good on the sweep. A boundary to win it for South Africa. All dominance over Sri Lanka. South Africa finally get a win in these Commonwealth Games. And it is a hefty one by 10 wickets. And they've gobbled up this low total in just 6.1 overs. Sri Lanka were never in this game. Right from ball one where Shivnan Ishmael picked up a wicket. They set a tone up front. And they dismiss Sri Lanka for 46. It's been an easy chase for the Proteas opening batters. They weren't troubled at all, as you expect, with a total like this on the board and in these conditions. It's a good surface. Sinead Luce said that at the toss. It's a good surface. That's why she was happy to have a ball first and she believed that her team could chase it down. I don't think she would have been thinking about chasing 47 to win. But the bowlers did a superb job. You really have to feel for Sri Lanka, though. It's been a really tough few years for them. But finally, something to celebrate for the Proteas after what has been a very disappointing tour of England.